this has not gone as planned and I'm admitting defeat. So my diff bushing has been blown for quite a while now and I've literally bought this um, in 2020. So for today, for this video, as you can tell by the title, the 370Z is getting new diff bushings finally one of my new year's resolutions is to actually get all the parts that i bought stored to actually be installed this year so yeah it's all the stuff that i've been pushing aside i do want to show you why i'm changing my stock diff bushings out the stock diff bushings are oil filled and so they're pretty much hydraulic bushings so once it splits the oil seeps out that bushing is no longer good in terms of what they're supposed to do as soon as the oil spills out there's going to be a lot of play in that bushing um, and so that's what's happening i'll try go for a drive and show you what i mean with bushing having play um, on acceleration all right let's try this from that um, you can see how much play it has with the stock bushings when they're blown out yeah so that's exactly why I am going to change it and because I do have a track day coming up and I want that to be really nice and really tight to stiffen that up you've got two options you got the solid bushings and you've got the poly bushings I'm going with the poly bushings just because this is a daily car and if I went solid bushings it's too aggressive for me for daily driving because it is solid it'll give much more vibration through the whole drivetrain and into the cabin which i don't really want <laughs> with daily driving these will still give a little bit of play but not much these will perform better but it won't be as aggressive as the solid bushings if you're going full track car then solid bushings are the go-to hopefully that gives a little bit of insight on why i'm changing these and why you should change them too let's get on to actually opening these up after two years and seeing what they look like and see what's actually inside what it comes with uh, i'll just take everything out um this is instructions you've got oh got a little sticker yes let's go some lubricant and you've got your subframe bushing and you got your two that go like that at the front of the diff so you're gonna have one here, one here, and then this one at the back here. In terms of quality, um, looks pretty solid to me. Start with taking the stock ones out. So near jack up the car as usual. We have to take off some parts and yeah. All right, let's get under the car and let's start working on this. First thing you need to do is pretty much take off the exhaust from the axle back. Just from the axle, um, back I just need to take that bit off so that means taking it off from the hangers and unbolting it from the mid pipe it's where a single exit exhaust will come in handy why was that so freaking hard I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> that took so long the next thing we need to go on to is taking off everything that is under the diff so basically here is a diff subframe bushing is in here is right in there i don't even know if i need to take off this brace here i feel like you can drop without taking that off probably have to take off this rear sway bar or probably just drop it down in order to take off the bolts for the front bushings i might actually go ahead and taking off the axles um these here and taking off the drive shaft as well okay 
as you can see I took off the axle from the diff and so I did zip tie it here to the control arm up here uh, just so it doesn't hang approximately 10 hours later the worst thing has happened yeah i rounded this freaking nut on this freaking diff bushing oh it's the worst freaking thing you can ever do i can't believe this is freaking happening this is i i'm just i'm so annoyed i'm so freaking annoyed day two we are back trying to get this nut off the damn rear subframe bushing Thing. Just went to the shops and I bought a extractor kit. Yeah, hopefully this freaking works because if it doesn't, I don't know what else to do. But what that means is I need to get another nut for the diff. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Just gonna open this up and see if it works. So yeah, I just tried getting the nut off with the extractor set and it did not work. Um, it was just chewing it off. It was not working at all. What I'm gonna have to do is drill and saw out the, the bushing, take the diff off as a whole with the bushing and we'll probably end up um, upgrading my diff cover. It's a good excuse for me to um, upgrade my diff cover. This has not gone as planned and I'm admitting defeat. Yeah, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna have to see you guys when I get all the parts. The next time I see you guys in this video will probably be in a month's time or something like that. So thank you so much for watching the video. Press that like and subscribe button because I really do need your support right now. This is the first time I'm admitting defeat when I'm upgrading a freaking mod. I need to put the car back together and then order the parts. Pretty much a wrap for me trying to upgrade my diff bushings. Not a great time, but upgraded diff cover um, just to make me feel better. I'm sure when that will come in, it's gonna be a great video because bigger upgrade, more work, but a better result. I'm excited for that. That's gonna come soon. Um, yeah, but that's it for today. Um,